Cause I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Cross the deserts, bear man. I've breathed the mountain air, man. I've traveled, I've had my chair, man. I've been everywhere. Been to Talamo, Seymour, Liz, Momo, Lula, Bam, 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 Rich, Tokyo, Momo, Rilla, Bam, 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 Hello from Far North Queensland. Great to have you on board. Um, sorry we're running a little bit late, but Mark Holden wouldn't stop talking. <laughs> I to that segment. I learned a lot. E excellent. And you found out that he was a pop star. I, and a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. You want to watch the young doctors at some stage. It makes uh, Home and Away look like a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks for joining us. Tell us about Atherton. Where is it? Uh, obviously, far north Queensland. Where is it and what's it famous for? Yeah, sure. So Atherton Tableland is an hour and a half from Cairns, which most people um, resonate with the Great Barrier Reef. And we're, so, we're up in the rainforest and the beautiful Tableland. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous up here and well known for its perfect weather. So if you've been to Cairns and you've gone up that hill on that train, that's the hill we're talking about. You're going west, presumably, and then go an hour and a half. That, uh, gets an, well, yeah, go up, go up the Karanda Range, and, it's a, and from Karanda it's about an hour. So, yeah. Spectacular part of the world and just an enormous food-growing hub because you've got uh, perfect conditions, lots of water, beautiful, warm weather it's almost uh, incubator type weather for uh, plants uh, that's obviously the big part of the world is creating food absolutely we, we absolutely live in paradise uh, and we have a great horticultural agricultural region um, it's our main producing uh, income for our region and uh, we have exports and import all over the world so uh, if you're probably having smashed avocado on your toast this morning yeah. probably from from us I don't yeah. do avocado. Don't mind a banana. <laughs> we do have lots of bananas as well. <laughs> and, and my recollection is it's probably the best place in Australia if you want to grow coffee. It is. It, well, I'll, I will say yes. I agree. Yes. Um, I have had a cup of coffee myself in over the journey, uh, already three this morning. Um, so uh, that's the thing I always associate with the Tablelands. Absolutely, and we have a, uh, a wonderful organisation called Coffee Works. It's good for its chocolates as well. Nice. Uh, the part of the world up there uh, is probably the last part of Australia that might be experienced climate change, but agriculturally down at this part of the world, it's, it's completely changed how it's been done in my lifetime with the, the change to climate, rainfall, uh, the heat, all of those sorts of things are different. Um, up there, in, in your time and talking to some of the older farmers up there, are you starting to see things being done differently because of the weather patterns are different? Well, interestingly for us, what you've just said is absolutely true. We haven't experienced what other parts of Australia have experienced with climate change, and it's, it's one of the places where scientists come to actually study our region for that reason. Um, we seem to be a little bit more protected. But the main thing that the sort of elders in our, our community talking about are uh, are more the change to our wet season. Uh, we seem to be having very strange wet seasons in the in the ten years I've been up here, um, and it just seems to be uh, that the southeast is getting more of that terrible storm weather and and that we usually get and are used to. So uh, it's going to be interesting uh, watching what happens over the next few years. Yeah, your wet, your rainfall is famous, but but we get the impression that it's always perfectly calm rain is falling straight down but of course when the storms come in and the rain then comes in horizontally uh not as pretty and obviously very destructive yes it, it can be and uh you know every we everyone thinks of cyclones in our region um but we had one recently that uh, just came out of the blue and did a little bit of destruction in the Melanda falls area um and uh and so we're just we're used to having the unpredictable weather up here and it's usually always hits at three o'clock when it's time to pick up the kids. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a normal phenomenon in Geelong. Don't worry about that. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, tourism, people come there for tourism reasons, or is it uh, a bit out of the way? No, no, it's definitely a, a worth staying in the region. Um, there's so much to do. I, I, I like the waterfall circuit itself. We've got the Miller Miller Falls. We've got the waterfall circuit. 
Uh, we've got Lake Tinaroo, Lake Geechan, with the volcanic crater lakes. Um, it's just a, it, what people like to call a grey nomad um, paradise from uh, around May to October, um, where people spend a, a significant period of time in our region just because it's so beautiful and uh, weather-wise just so wonderful at that time of year. Is it the people who are doing the so-called Around Australia trip? Is that what's generally driving it? Oh, absolutely, mm. yeah. Oh, but as I was saying that, there's, there's people that come up from Cairns and, and Brisbane and, and those that are staying in locally in the region. I'm fine. What we're finding up here is since COVID, people are staying a lot, a lot locally and, and exploring our region with camping, um, mountain biking, water skiing. There seems to be uh, a lot of more preference for people staying closer to home well it's funny because uh, we do this segment every week and we talk to someone everywhere if we went and visited all the places that people say are paradise in in australia we would spend the rest of our lives in a car um <laughs> but uh having visited up there you're not far wrong i reckon it's a really really nice part of the world and beautiful people too well that goes without saying doesn't it yeah <laughs> christy we had better let you go back and attend to whatever you were doing on a saturday morning thanks for taking some time out to talk to the two blokes rob says goodbye he goes into the next studio to do the next show you see so he just gets up and walks out but uh thank you so much for being part of the show and we'll chat soon no problem have a great day